Jim and Beverly together were incredible philanthropists. Their generosity was quite remarkable. And uh, they did it so quietly and so humbly. It wasn't their intent to be front and center or to be recognized for any of what they were doing with their philanthropy. I remember first meeting Jim and Bev Thompson about 25, 30 years ago in my early work at Parkwood in healthcare development. And I believe it was actually at the tribute dinner that I first met them. And they presented as a very quiet, lovely couple. And of course, Bev came out of healthcare. She has a healthcare background as a practicing nurse. And so they were a couple who were very interested in what was happening at the hospital. My parents have very much influenced what I have tried to do in my life and, and also my husband. Because I stayed in London, we were very aware of what mom and dad were doing. So I think, you know, we supported a lot of the same things that mom and dad did, including the St. Joe's Breast Care. At the time in London, we had a problem with uh, younger women with a genetic predisposition to breast cancer who weren't able to get the kind of screening that they needed in order to achieve a diagnosis early enough if they did in fact have cancer. And we wanted to bring in an MRI with specific breast imaging capability. Jim and Bev made a very large early gift to that particular campaign and really helped us secure the first MRI with breast imaging capability in the region. As a result of Jim and Bev's leadership, younger women in London now had access to the screening that was helping them to actually survive their cancer. The Thompson impact is never ending. The family has supported so many families, so many organizations in the London area, southwestern Ontario, and in Canada, quite frankly. But here's what I know. It was always done in a humble, quiet, unassuming way, not looking for recognition, but they were always leading and leading by example. Jim and Bev's impact in London, and for many of us in the community who may not even be aware, has impacted the care of older adults. It's impacted imaging in a very big way. It's impacted surgical care. Their reach has been very, very broad. But it's their history of supporting medical imaging and innovation that's really gotten us to today and the promise of Theranostics. We're all a community, and we need to see ourselves in the community and, and knowing that we have contributed in some small way is extremely important. We knew from the time we were very young children that this, this is what you do. It's just part of who the family is. This honor means a, a lot to our family. You know, we're, I think it's been said, we're a quiet family, but deep down, this, this means a lot to us. You know, it's really hard to come up with words that are sufficient to express the gratitude we feel at St. Joseph's for everything the Thompson family has done in terms of providing leadership, in terms of their gifts. I've been in this organization now for more than three decades, and it has been a real privilege to work with this family. We feel very blessed to have their confidence and we're very grateful to them for everything they've done.